Hey everyone, welcome to the presentation. Today, let's talk about how you can learn about pending legislation and what your elected officials are up to. Uh, you know, most folks, they wait until they hear about new bills or laws from the news or social media. You know, hey, why rely on a middleman? You know, go straight to the source. So, first thing you want to do is you want to go to congress.gov. On the homepage, you'll find everything you need to learn about the legislative process, uh, congressional leadership, and pending legislation. If you, if you already know what you're searching for and you want to jump right in, start with the search bar at the top of the page here. And by clicking on more options, oops, there we go. By clicking on more options, you can get deep into the weeds by selecting the different types of uh, materials you want to search on the left hand side and then entering your keywords here like that. But actual words and not gibberish. Okay, now before we get into that, let's look at the rest of the home page. You know, if you just want to browse around with no particular search uh, in mind, you have a number of options. You can choose between the most viewed bills here, or you can click on the top 10, and it will give you the most viewed top 10 bills for each week, like right there. Let's go back uh, to the home page. And now on the other side of the screen, you can run through you know, a list of bills currently in the House and Senate, uh, you know, public laws, U.S. Code, and appropriations. So that's good stuff. If you, if you want to watch what's going on live and in person with the House or Senate, uh, you're in luck. You just click on links here and here, and it'll take you to a page with the, the live feed, in the uh, in the house and in the senate on on the uh, left hand side of the screen and then on the <clears throat> excuse me I had to clear my throat there that was rude uh, on the left hand side of the screen will be the the live feed of uh, the house or senate and then on the right hand side will be the day's agenda of what they're going through so you can follow along in real time. Now, scrolling down the page, you can look up members of Congress and the leadership on this right-hand side of the page here. And um, on the uh, left-hand side, if you go over here, you can look up, you can watch these videos about the legislative process, look up the uh, gallery of the founding documents, and uh, as you're scrolling back up, we're going to get back to the search. If you feel so inclined, you can locate your members of Congress and contact them. So here we are back at the top of the page. Let's go through an example of a search, a legislation search. So my, my interest is always in legislation or bills that include grant funds. So my search term, I always use the same one. I always use grant, grant award. And that, that does me pretty well because if, um, if there's a bill that has grant funds in it, it'll either pick up on the term grant or the term award or both. So I find that to be the most useful when looking for pending legislation with uh, with grants in them, but obviously, uh, depending on what topics interest you, you might need to experiment with different keywords to get the best results. But, uh, but anywho, you enter your keywords here, and then you hit return, or click on the little magnifying glass icon, and voila, 
the default sort, as you see here, is by relevancy. I like to change it to latest action, newest to oldest, just so I can see what the most what the most recent action is on uh, on all these all these bills. Um, as you can see, in the bills descriptions, uh, if uh, if any of the keywords that you used are in the descriptions, you're going to see them highlighted um, in green. And from here, so just kind of scroll down, do do do, and not not all the descriptions will have your keywords in them, but when you go excuse me, when you go deeper into, uh, into each bill, you'll, you'll find them somewhere. Um, okay. Oh, I should point out, from here you can actually see, like, which committee each bill is in, so where it currently resides, uh, what the latest, latest action was by date and the the tracker this is really cool so uh, you can use the tracker to see you know where it is in the process introduced whether it passed the house or the senate if it's sitting on the president's desk or if it's become law and you can actually narrow down your searches over here so like if you only wanted to search on uh, bills that have been sent to the president. You can do that uh, using using these pull down menus here. Don't know exactly which one it is. Oh, status of legislation. Duh. So to president. And you just click on that, and it would narrow your search down even further. Okay. Awesome. Now. Um, one thing to note, as you are scrolling scrolling down through these bills, if you start to get a little sense of deja vu, don't worry about it. You're probably just, like, at the top of the page reading uh, the title of a bill and the description that was the, uh, the house version. And then as you scroll down... You're going to see a, a different number, but the same title and same description. That's probably going to be the Senate version, or or vice versa. Sometimes you'll see the Senate version first, and then the House version. But if you if you start to think, God, I'm seeing the same thing twice. That's that's what you're uh, that's what you're noticing. Now, let's click on this here for more information. Just click on a bill's number. And then it's going to give you oh, summary in progress. Well, it's going to give you almost everything you need. Now, what happens is sometimes if a bill is still fairly new, that is, it was just recently introduced, you're not going to have you know the summary and the full text of the leg legislation right away. You'll probably just have the title. Uh, the title down here, which kind of parallels what you see up here. Now, hold on, excuse me again. So, but yeah, sometimes it takes maybe a week or two for uh, for all of the information to be uploaded to Congress.gov. But once you do, you'll have the summary, you'll have the full uh, the full text of the bill. All the actions, the various titles. Sometimes uh, bills have multiple titles to them. Uh, any amendments that were uh, that were added to it, co-sponsors, the committees uh, that uh, are going to be reviewing it, and any related bills to this particular topic. Um, what else? So, in addition to that, you'll also have a CBO cost estimate, which those can be those can be interesting, and. Um, yeah. So if if when you click on a bill that you're interested in, if all the information isn't there, just make note of the bill number and uh, come back to it. I'd say give it 
Give it a week to 10 days. Oh, bills are generally sent to Library of Congress from the government publishing office. A day or two after they're introduced on the floor, delays can occur when large... <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So you could have read that for yourself. Oh, well. So I'm just stating the obvious now. Well, cool. Okay. Well, that is congress.gov in a nutshell. Check it out. Experiment with it. <clears throat> and if you find a cool feature that I didn't cover, and let's be honest, I only scratched the surface here, uh, share it in the comments below for everyone to see. All right. Well, that's cool. So that's all I've got. If you enjoyed this, feel free to like it or give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be alerted when the next video is uploaded. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.